they usually wake as the sun breaks over the horizon. And that's also when their keepers start work. 20-year-old Fatou and 31-year-old Najin are the last of their subspecies, the northern white rhino. I like to be close to them when the sun is rising because also it's a beautiful day when you see the sun with the rhinos. It's good actually to be with them. The two rhinos have their own full-time keeper to look after them and a 700-hectare enclosure just for them in this northern Kenyan reserve. Everything possible has been done to stop their subspecies from going extinct. In 1960, there were still 2,000 white rhinos in Africa, but years of war and poaching have left just two on this planet. Occasionally, they're joined by a third rhino of another subspecies. Fatou and Najin are a mother and daughter pair. They used to live in a zoo in the Czech Republic, but were brought here in 2009 in the hope that they would find a mate. But the last male northern white rhino died in 2018, before they were able to procreate. I take care of the last two northern white rhino left in the whole world. I spend a lot of time with them, than the way I spend my time with my own family. But given Fatou and Najin are both females, all this attention won't be enough on its own to save this subspecies. This man, though, is refusing to admit defeat. Samuel is the head of conservation at the Old Pejeta Reserve. After the death of the last male northern white rhino, he began fundraising to launch an unprecedented experiment using in vitro fertilization on rhinoceros. The work began in August 2018 with the riskiest step. Conservationists from Europe came to collect eggs from the females who'd been anesthetized for the procedure. It's very stressful when it comes to the actual event. You cannot miss. The scientists were able to extract 10 eggs in total, which were then fertilized in an Italian lab with sperm from two deceased males. Three embryos were thus created, then frozen until the next stage becomes viable, implanting them into surrogate southern white rhinos. We are very hopeful that in the coming year, um, hopefully we can, we can um, implant one of the embryos that, we've, uh, that we now currently have frozen on, on one of the southern white rhinos here. Uh, but then when that happens, it still takes 18 months before you see any baby. So, uh, it's basically two years from now, so to speak, you know, and, and if that happens, really, we will be very grateful. Even if a baby rhino is born, it still needs to be able to reproduce for the species to survive. But Samuel believes the goal is too important to not at least try. Generally, within science, we say that each particular species within the food web contributes in its own unique way. When you eliminate a species entirely from, uh, from an ecosystem, then you weaken the natural function. There's still a long way to go, with many hurdles to cross, but there is hope. Hope that justifies Fatou and Najin's 24-hour armed protection as the last representatives of their species.